Hi, welcome to Rustic Hardware Showroom. My name is Tiffany, and today I'm going to walk you through the Rockwell door assembly and hardware install. Before we begin, let's make sure we have the proper tools that we're going to need. You're going to need a drill with a Phillips bit, a ratchet with a 7 16th socket, and a mallet. This is going to tighten everything up in the end. Next, we're going to lay all the slats down on the floor or flat on your workplace. This is going to give a loose idea of how the door is put together. So as I laid my slats out, I have all my tongues facing the right and grooves to the left. You'll notice that two of them are missing tongues. These inner slats, are, or what I call our end slats, are the part that you hook up to the right style. So notice you have three cross pieces, or what we call rails. The bottom one is important because this we've already pre-cut or mortised out for the door guide, which makes a perfect slide. So that's the piece you want to make sure that is on the bottom. The center piece has two grooves, whereas your top piece or your top rail only has one. So it's really easy to tell between your three which is which. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us. To begin assembly, we're going to go ahead and take that bottom rail, the one with the cut mortise at the bottom, and create a right angle using that right style. You're going to want to get it as tight as possible, but don't worry, that's what the mallet's for at the end. We're also going to go ahead and start building upon these inner slats. This one, again, missing the tongue, is going to be your first piece. And like a puzzle, you'll be linking the tongue and grooves. So now that we have our interior slats all assembled here, we want to make sure we get it nice and snug. So let's go ahead and take it. Don't hesitate to just give it a good grab. And this is where the mallet comes in handy. So you want to hold it by the edge really firm and tight. And you're going to see the seams starting to come together. So again, just keep hammering so you get it all nice and snug. So once you've malleted it nice and tight, you want to make sure that this inner slat is flush with your bottom rail. All right, and if that looks good, double check the bottom of your door and make sure that your door guide seam lines up. And if it doesn't, again, you just take your mallet to it. All right, there we go. Our next step, we're gonna take that middle or center rail and attach it to the top of these slats. Again, don't have to take school down. So once we have our center rail nice and snug, we're gonna go ahead and continue by starting to build up our center top slats. You're gonna go ahead and start with the piece with no tongue and attach it to your style and rail as we go. And then take those tongues and continue attaching them to the grooves. Once again, keeping everything nice, firm, and tight. So once we have all our slats nice and flush, we're gonna move forward and connect our top rail. So our next step is to attach the left style to the rest of the door. You may find this much easier if you have a friend applying pressure to the opposite side. Once again, you want to make sure everything's firm and tight, so get that mallet. Our last step for our door assembly is to go ahead and drill into our pilot holes with our lags. Insert your lag bolt into the pre-drilled pilot holes. And with your ratchet and 7 16 socket, you'll go ahead and tighten this as tight as possible, trying to keep this lag bolt as straight as you go. Now we're ready for hanger installation. For hole placement, place your hanger upside down so it's flat on your door. You'll need a measuring tape and pencil for this to make your mark. Measure two inches in from the edge of door. 
Once again, with the pencil making your mark. Once you got that down, slowly pull up your hanger and measure from the top of door to the bottom of wheel. Again, top of door to the bottom of wheel. Make your mark. Now, if you're doing this at home, you're going to need to prop the door up or grab a saw horse. That way we don't damage your beautiful floor. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and pre-drill our pilot holes. Using a 1 and 1 8 spade bit or Fostner bit, we are going to drill a 7 16 deep hole. This is going to help keep your hex kit flush so you don't scratch your beautiful walls. We're going to need to switch out our bits once again to drill through the door for your hex bolts. Now with a 3 8 bit, we're going to use our pilot holes as our guide to drill through the door to create our screw holes. Clear out your mess and we're ready to mount. Grab two washers and drop one in each countersunk hole. Then you'll need two hex bolts. Drop them right through the holes and screw them tight to your hanger with the provided acorn nut. Once you've mounted your hanger, you're going to repeat the process on the opposite side. Be sure to tighten the nuts with the socket wrench, and then we're ready to hang the track. We're now at a home location getting ready to mount our header and track, but let's first make sure we have the proper tools. You're going to need a drill, a Phillips bit, and one eighth drill bit, your level, stud finder, measuring tape, and pencil. And at this point, it doesn't hurt to have a little help. This is my friend Noah. He's going to help me out through the next couple steps. Today I'll be using our optional header to mount our system. First, we need to mark our center point of the track and header. In order to do so, you'll take your door height plus 2 and an eighth inches. Since my door is 84 inches tall, I'll be measuring 86 inches and an eighth from the ground. Now we're ready to mark the studs for the length of the track and header. Next we're ready to determine the placement of our header to keep our door centered to the openings. Since my opening is 31 inches and the door is 36, I'll have a good 2.5 inches overlay on each side. Since the header extends 2 inches past the door edge, I will measure 4.5 inches from the opening. Now that we've made our marks, I'm ready to secure the header. I will drill the pilot holes and secure with grabber screws while Noah holds it in place. Perfect. Now that I have the pivot screw in place, Noah will help me while I level the header. Now that we've anchored the header at the right hand corner and secured the rest of it with grabber screws, we are ready to mount the track. Some additional tools you will need for this step is your drill with a quarter inch drill bit, your ratchet with a 9 16 socket, and your tape measure. Let's measure for those track holes. You will need to measure three inches down and three inches in from the edge of header. As we thread our track, you will start with a spacer, track, door stop, washer, with your lag screw going through it all. Now if I can grab your help, you will mount to the pilot hole that we pre-drilled, but be sure not to tighten it too tight because we will need to swing it around and mount the opposite side. Level the track and mark the remaining holes. spacers and legs to the track. We're now ready to hang our door. Noah, if you could give me a hand.
Make sure it slides freely with no obstruction. We're now ready to install our anti-jump bracket. This piece keeps the door from jumping track. Take the bracket and place it flush against the door, about one-eighth down from the bottom of track. Mark the holes. and drill the pilot holes. Keep it as straight as possible and secure with your grabber screws. After you install your anti-jump bracket on the opposite side of your door, you're ready to install your pole. Measure 36 inches from the bottom of door. Mark it. And that mark will be the center of your pole. Mark the holes. And secure with grabber screws. We are now installing the door guide. This is the piece that keeps the door in place and prevents the door from swinging. Go ahead and slide the door guide about halfway into the door and secure with a grabber screw. Slide the door to the opposite end and repeat the process to the other side. Now that we've completed installing our barn door, you get to enjoy it and show it off. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact us.